Hey, if you want to learn how to stretch your text like this, I've got a quick tutorial for you. So I've got some text and I really just want to stretch the word stretch. I've already isolated it from the other words, which you don't have to do, but it saves you a small hassle of having to sort through the parts that you don't want to stretch. So you're going to want to head on over to your soon to be stretch text and right click it, then go to create, create shapes from text. This is gonna instantly make a new shape layer of the text as well as hide the original layer. We don't need the original anymore, but let's not delete it in case we wanna use it as a reference later. I'm just gonna hit my Kilroy buttons on them and then hit the big one to hide them for now. Now, if you go into the contents of your new shape layer, you'll see that each letter has its own individual layer. Make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline and now we've gotta go through the very monotonous task of going through each letter and turning on their path keyframes so we can animate them. This can take a while, but at least it's easy. Also, take a look at my R. You'll notice it has two separate paths, and that's because any closed loop a shape makes is gonna count as its own path. So that I on my R, or if you had an O, an A, or a B, there's two in that case, all those holes in the letters will have their own paths. Moving on, once you've turned on all your path keyframes, hit U on your keyboard to collapse everything except for them. Now it's a lot easier to manage, and we can have some fun. Move forward on your timeline and click on one of the paths. It doesn't matter which one because it's going to highlight all of them. You click and drag over a portion of your text. I'm going to go halfway through the E and onward. Now just move your text along and it'll stretch just like this. That's basically all there is to it. You can keep stretching and shifting your letters around however you'd like, but here are a few things to keep in mind. As you're going, you need to be aware of your keyframes, so it's best to go in individual steps. Move what you want and then highlight all of the paths and make keyframes for all the points you didn't move so that they don't get out of sync when it's time to make your next move. Also, the font you're using really matters. A thick sans serif like this is perfect for this type of work, but something like a script or a handwritten font isn't going to look great, in my opinion. When you're looking for a good font for this effect, look for ones that have strong vertical and horizontal lines and don't rely too much on diagonal ones. Lastly, I'll say if you're going to try to do a more complicated animation with this, try sketching it out on paper before just diving into After Effects. Having a good plan and sketches to reference will save you a lot of time and headache in the long run. Have fun! If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.